Hi guys, welcome to 3D cameras in After Effects. It's gonna be very interesting. In this lecture, I will show you how to create a camera layer. And also I will show you what is the most important property in cameras and how to choose the camera that you want to work with. I would like you to open the project file 3D cameras intro. And within this project file, you will have the composition 3D cameras intro for now, there will be more later on. Please double click on it to open it and we are going to work together. Let's go back and reset our minimal so we don't want the project here. And we can see our active camera view and the left view, I put it here. You know how to deal with these now, I hope very well. Now within the left view, you can see you have the text layer. After Effects, the text layer also 3D camera, a solid layer for the background of the text and a solid layer covering all the composition. And you notice that I put them in different plane over here on the Z axis. You notice this 3D camera, After Effects and so on, they are in different plane. So now we want to add a camera. You can come to a layer and you have new and you have new camera here. But the practice is to right click in the composition timeline, say new and camera. Now you have a very nice camera setting panel that's open here. And you might think, oh my God, this is very hard. Actually, it is so easy. I'm going to take a simple example. First of all, there is the type of camera. You can have a two node camera or a one node camera. Well, for now, I tell you that two node camera are the most used and it has a point of interest, which is very valuable to use. Okay, that's one. The second one, you can give it a nice name if you like. But in the preset here, if you click, you have very many presets. Actually, all these presets have one single important property. I will take the 15 millimeter preset here. And you notice what you have here. First of all, I would like you to change your units, switch to pixels. That's very important because we can relate to pixels. The preset is 15 millimeter. What does it mean? Well, actually, each preset that you see here has one single property that will change. It is the angle of view. Everything is about the angle of view here. If you look at this graphic, it looks complicated. And you have two major things that you're looking at. First, your composition that's over here and it goes through the camera according to a certain angle of view. And of course, it reflects to the film or what you are going to see. So this is the comp and this is what you see, as simple as this. It's all about the angle of view. If you change the angle of view, you will be able to zoom towards your composition or away from your composition. Okay, and it will affect what you are going to see. Fine. Let's create this camera and we will come back here and notice exactly what we got. I will click OK. And then here you are. This is your camera that is appearing here. If you deselect and the wireframe disappear, this is because of a setting here you need to do. This is a setting under the three bars for the composition menu. You click on it and you go to view options. And within your view options, you want the camera wireframes to appear all the time. Okay, not only when selected, but on all the time. So put it to on and you click OK. By the way, this setting is not for all the composition, it's just for this comp. So this gizmo here that looks very beautiful is your camera or a representation of your camera. Over here, you have the point of interest. This is where the camera is pointing. It's not a focus, it's just where the camera is pointing and you can animate this point of interest. And this is the angle of view. You notice the angle of view. Now it's a 15 millimeter, so the angle of view is pretty wide. Let's twirl down and see the properties of the camera. I'll twirl down transform and the camera options. I'm gonna take it a bit up here, okay? And go up. That will do just like this. I would like you to keep an eye on the point of interest and the zoom and the focus distance. Good. To edit the camera properties, it's very easy, just double click on it. Now, what do we have here? We said we have a two node camera and the two node camera has a point of interest. Let's put it to one node camera. Now, you know, some properties have disappeared and the most important one is the point of interest. 
It is useful to use the point of interest, but one note camera can do certain animation for you that are very useful. So I'll go back to two note cameras. So I have the point of interest. Second, if you look at the properties over here, you have the zoom. So you can see the zoom over here. So the zoom is the distance from the camera lens or the camera itself to your composition. Now, if you change the zoom, for example, you take it down, you notice that the angle of view is changing. You notice here the angle of view is changing. If you change the angle of view, for example, you make it bigger. Here you are. You notice how the angle of view here is increasing. Then you have a wider view of your composition. Still, the camera is covering all the composition at 1920. But when the angle of view is big or high, then you will see things from very far and whatever is in your comp is going to show very small. Now, if you take your angle of view to smaller values, here you are. Of course, now you are seeing very far, though you can adjust this. So you can see things much nearer to the camera. This is the angle of view when I change it in the 15 millimeter. You can also play with the film size. If I click and drag, and you notice when I start playing with the film size, obviously the angle of view is going to change, the zoom is going to change. So actually they are all related. And the most important is the angle of view. That's it. I will cancel here. Now we have a camera one, and we are viewing all the 3D layers according to the camera. So if you come over and start moving the camera, for example, just like this, you notice all your 3D layers are moving. What's interesting is if you switch off a 3D layer, then it won't be moving anymore. You notice, guys? Okay, it has disappeared from the 3D view. Cool. I will undo this. So now you have created your first camera. In the next lecture, we develop more on the camera layers and see exactly what's the difference and how to use them.